No, I'm just going to find out the schedule. Okay. 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 Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so I mean, I was planning to leave around uh, five, uh, five, yes, so I think in principle it's possible to have a short discussion. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, maybe, yeah, okay, let's, but maybe let's not do that, let's try to ask the questions, yeah, during this, this, uh, these two sessions, yeah, and we'll see, we'll see. Uh, okay, so the, Today, yeah, this will be this legendary touch of neutrinos, yeah, that somehow made it into the title of this uh, official title of this of this lectures. Uh, I will be talking about um, neutrino oscillations uh, using uh, using the EFT approach. Yes, yeah? so. Uh, normally, yeah, when you talk about neutrino oscillations, you use this sort of a cartoon picture. Yeah, you have some source. Yeah, and then it uh, produces a neutrino and then it goes here have a, some target and uh, you assume yeah that uh, sort of you go back to quantum mechanics yeah you assume that you have a state here and you uh, that is a flavor eigenstate that you can uh, write in terms of the mass eigenstate neutrino mass eigenstates yeah and this is uh, pmns uh, matrix uh, where P stands for Ponte Corvo. Uh, the rest, maybe I, mean, I will not try to uh, say so because I will probably get it wrong. Uh, anyway, uh, the this is a three by three, so we have three flavor state. This is a three by three matrix. So are we always assuming that we only have three neutrinos? Yeah. So for the sake of this lectures, yeah, there there was no sterile neutrinos, but. Yeah, I mean, everything I will say is uh, trivially uh, generalizable yeah, to, to case more neutrinos. Yeah. Um, also, yeah, so you have, you, you generate the state, yeah, it's uh, here, and then you uh, write uh, that new alpha L, yeah, is something like, uh, um, so every eigenstate, yeah, is uh, evolves uh, differently, and then you have, uh, uh, something like I uh, P K X or L, yeah, here and new K, uh, and then this this is the the momentum, yeah, and the, the neutrinos are relativistic, so you write them that they have a common energy and uh, uh, minus m k squared over two e, something like that, and then. Uh, because this factor yeah, is different for different uh, uh, for different neutrinos, yes, the, it's uh, uh, each uh, each uh, eigenstate evolves differently. So then the um, the, uh, the composition yeah of the of the neutrino changes yeah, and then at, at the end of the day you might have that uh, new alpha of L. Uh, compared to the new original new alpha, uh, maybe it's different, yeah, and uh, it's, it's not zero if alpha is different than beta, yeah. So alpha here is the flavor index, yeah, and the flavor of the neutrino might change during evol evolution, yeah. So this is a bit of a cartoonish picture, yeah, and then you might ask a question, yeah, how do you change? So what what changes, yeah, when we have uh, New physics beyond the standard model, like when you take uh, SMEF with all this uh, uh, thousands of operators, yeah. This how does this uh, affect? So it doesn't look like yeah, because it seems that this is this is like the to this what what is talked about here, yeah, is an effect in propagation, yeah, in vacuum, yeah. So that that doesn't seem to be changing. But how the how how does the existence of this new physics? So of new, how does the existence of new physics, yeah, and all this uh, higher dimensional operators changes this? Yeah, uh, in particular, yeah, how you define a flavor state? Yeah, so in a, the standard model, yeah, it's something it's obvious. Yeah, so how you define a flavor state because you have a preferred basis, yeah, where the uh, uh, interactions yeah are diagonal in the uh, in the lepton flavor. Yeah, but in general, when you go beyond the standard model, when you go to SMEF, you can have all sort of uh, of diagonal interactions in with flavor in a sense, like electron can interact with the muon neutrino, yeah, and by by some dimension six operator. Yeah, so how, what is the flavor base and so on? Yeah, so this this picture is not very uh, well uh, suited, yeah, to describe this. Yeah, so. Uh, 
In the literature, yeah, people try to modify this picture sort of ad hoc. They introduce the so-called NSI parameters, yeah, and uh, which there are separate NSI parameters. So NSI stands for non-standard interactions. Uh, separate NSI parameters for source. There's the the, uh, the other NSI parameters for 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 the target, and uh, this sort of yeah. Uh, uh, rotate this, uh, this 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 flavor basis, yeah, but uh, it's not clear, yeah, a priori, yeah, how th how this is related, yeah, to something that is maybe interesting to high energy physicists like this uh, Wilson coefficients of higher dimensional operators, yeah. So what I'll what I'll do um, here, yeah, is that I'll, I will uh, just uh, sketch you, yeah, that this is uh, in in principle, yeah, it is possible, yeah, to to do to do this analysis, yeah, in a, uh, systematically, but then you have to abandon this cartoonish picture, yeah, of, of, of quantum mechanics and the state, and uh, just do quantum field theory yeah, as we usually do. Yeah? So uh, let me just erase you, yeah, because that's not gonna be uh, needed. So. Uh, what you can what what you can uh, consider here is that you have some source yeah of neutrinos and then it decays to some state that I will call x alpha and what is the uh, uh, this the state can be anything yeah so so there, will be, there are different kinds of sources of neutrinos for example pion decays to a um, muon and the neutrino uh, so in this state in this case uh, this x will be muon yeah uh, neutron decays to um, uh, proton uh, and uh, electron and the neutrino. So in this case, the, the state will be proton plus electron. Yeah? So alpha just says that there is a lepton, charged lepton in this, yeah, by either electron or muon or tau. Yeah, and this electron sort of tags the the flavor of neutrino. Yeah, so I will be not try to define any flavor basis. I will just be interested, yeah, in a situation where at the source, uh, the source spits the neutrino and some charged lepton, electron, muon, or tau. Yeah, so alpha just is just this this index, and then this neutron, sorry, neutrino, goes all the way to the target. Yeah, so there is a distance l here between the two, and uh, this uh, uh, it hits the target, and then uh, in the final the final state after that you have y beta. Yeah, and again it can be. Um, can be many different things. Yeah, no, most uh, most often the like, neutrinos are detected by some some sort of uh, uh, inverse uh, beta decay. So then neutrino hits uh, proton, and then the state is a neutron plus plus electron, for example. Yeah, and so then the, the beta beta is the uh, electron. Yeah, but there is there can be an different kinds of detection with different final states. So this. Uh, this uh, uh, this is the, the the process that is happening here, and then you can think about it, yeah, so, uh, uh, as a quantum uh, or QFT process, yeah, where you have an initial state S T, yeah, and the final state X alpha Y beta, yeah, and. Where is the neutrino here? Yeah, there's no neutrino. Yeah, you never s really see neutrino. Yeah, so neutrino is uh, like in the in this QFT approach, neutrino is just a, a particle that propagates. Uh, yeah, in the, 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 so, so this, this is an internal particle. Yeah, that you can put uh, like you can in a propagator. Yeah, but yeah, it's not uh, uh, an asymptotic state. So you see that this is a little bit. It's it's om it's almost like doing uh, scattering amplitudes. Uh, the only difference is that uh, the um, uh, so this state is we can think about this as an asymptotic state, plane waves, yeah, no, 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 nothing unusual. This state is a little bit different, yeah, because it's not uh, it's, this is not a particle that are coming from infinity. This state describes two particles. Let's say they will be at rest, yeah. That we can complicate it a bit, but uh, uh, let's not do it uh, today. Uh, so two particles at rest that are localized in a space-time, or in a uh, more precise in space, far away from each other. Yeah, that's so. So that's not exactly uh, like asymptotic states. So you can uh, describe this uh, oh, here, um, st somehow. Yeah, but we but we know how to deal with it. Yeah, so we 
we integrate yeah over the uh, the phase space yeah of uh, the momentum eigenstates yeah for the source and that uh, and then we put some sort of a wave packet yeah so ps pt and then ps pt in yeah so so we can make a um a wave packet yeah out of the momentum eigenstates to describe some state localized in a particular place in in space yeah so these are wave packets that localize you to a uh, let's say origin of the of the coordinates yeah so that's that can be done yeah and this wave packet you know that can be something like from uh, from quantum mechanics yeah to like some some gaussian thing yeah uh, so, so it will be something some gaussian in the in the momenta and if you insist on doing it uh, in a Lorentz invariant way yeah there is also ways to write this this wave packet yeah so there's no problem and th there's just one more thing yeah that we want to this wave packet this so this be localized away yeah so again there is a simple way you can just uh, translate yeah this uh, target uh, by b so this is a uh, this is the mo uh, momentum of the target. May I, uh, one thing for me, I never said that when I say momentum, I always mean mean for momentum. Yeah, and so, yeah, when I when I refer to three momentum, I always uh, try to say that it's a three momentum. And this is the some displacement vector. Yeah, and then for example, it can have a form like that. L. Yeah. So so the the, the two are uh, uh, separated by L along the z axis. Yeah. So I can just write this kind of. Uh, uh, so I can, I can act with the uh, displacement operator yeah, on this uh, target state, and then I get something like this. Yeah, and this is this, the the in state I can uh, I can use uh, here. The out state, as I said, is a normal. Uh, there is nothing uh, nothing unusual. Yeah, and then uh, I can write that the n alpha beta so the number of events uh, uh, is something like that yeah so out k1 kn and then here this st state squared and then the d equals 1 to n d phi e okay so what is uh, uh, that so this is the 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 number yeah of of events uh, that will uh, that 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 will occur is just the square of this amplitude where here you have this uh, sort of wave packety state in the in the initial state and the out state yeah is the 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 the, the, the usual plane wave uh, momentum yeah now that's something that goes to infinity and we don't care yeah and you see that this this is something weird, yeah, but uh, it contains that also the usual plane waves, yeah. So it will contain the usual scattering amplitudes, yeah. So 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 now uh, there is a little bit, yeah, of uh, massaging that you have to do, which is not unlike when you, uh, if you remember from QFT, uh, when you derive the formula for the cross section, yeah, you have you get you have something similar, yeah. It's you know, it's a very similar setup with a small small small. Uh, uh, the only difference yeah, is that in the, when you derive the cross section, yeah, you have a flux going to infinity and a localized target. Yeah, instead of, uh, but that, uh, so that that's there, there is a little bit of quantitative difference. Yeah, but the manipulations that you do are the same. Yeah, you have to reorganize it. Yeah, to like, get rid of this wave packet, so you assume that they are very very sharply localized around uh, uh, some 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 sp so that they give you the, the sharp localization. In, in space, yeah, with some uh, uh, spread, and then uh, when the uh, when the smoke clears, yeah, so that uh, I will let me uh, just write you the final the final formula here. Yeah, you're getting something like that: 32 by L squared m s m t. That's not very important, and then the important thing is here. P two minus I L delta M K L squared over two E nu, and then you have M alpha. Oh. Why this blackboard is always too short? Uh, how do we do this? Uh, okay, let, let me just 
that's the formula that probably should should stay here. So let me not uh, sum over k l e to minus i delta m k l squared l over two e mu, and then you have uh, m alpha k p m alpha l bar p m beta k d m beta l d bar delta. So the bar here denotes the complex conjugation. Yeah, just don't want to write star so, because there is a lot of lot of other things uh, happening. Uh, okay, I still haven't uh, managed to to fit it. Yeah, and then there is uh, phase space for detection and phase space for uh, production. Yeah, so I, I will show you how this, uh, this 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 formula works in a, in a second. Just let me explain you what it is. Yeah, so 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 L here is the distance yeah between the source and the target, and uh, the uh, mass. This is the mass of the source and the target particle. So here is the the interesting thing. Yeah, here you have a, a delta m of the squared of the neutrinos. So delta m squared kl is equal to m m nu k squared minus m nu l squared yeah so this this is the difference of the uh, of the masses of the two eigenstates of neutrino you you have a sum over all eigenstates and actually the sum is twice sum over k and sum 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 over l um, now this is the uh, production amplitude m alpha k p uh, is equal to m and then uh, source uh, going to x alpha k argument state of neutrino and then m alpha k d is the same as amplitude of a neutrino k hitting target and producing the y I, I usually call it beta here so let's Let's keep calling it beta, y beta. Yeah. So these are normal amplitudes that you calculate with the Feynman diagrams in in QFT. So so everything is almost normal. Yeah. Except that uh, it, it's like almost like you have a amplitude squared, like in the cross section. The only difference is that all all of the the, the localization of the source. Yeah. And uh, it gave you the so yeah. So you also have this one over l squared. Yeah. That is just a geometric factor. And then you have this factor here in the exponential, yeah, that encodes neutrino oscillations, as we will see in a moment. Yeah, so this is the this is the neutrino. Uh, this, this 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 so this localization of the source, as opposed to some uh, plane wave hitting the target, yeah, gives you this this this, this piece, yeah, in the uh, in the final formula. And now here, these are the this is the phase space for the production, which includes the neutrino. So phase phase space for these particles. And this is the phase space for this particles. Yeah, so this this, this could be, as I said, um, either two-body phase space, yeah, or many-body phase space, yeah, depending on how neutrino is produced and uh, detected. So that's the, uh, the uh, this is the formula. This is like uh, that, that we'll be using. Yeah, if you um, so there is some derivations in the literature of that. Yeah, so uh, I can if you want to uh, look. The derivation more closely. Yeah, there is appendix A of this uh, uh, reference. Yeah, where you can where, where you can go through all the steps. Yeah, as I said, it's something that. Yeah, if uh, if I will if I wanted to 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 devote the two hours. Yeah, of this uh, of this lecture to that. Yeah, you, that, that can be derived. It's not not, not not really there is no rocket science there. Yeah, but there is uh, several steps. Yeah, a lot of integrations. Yeah, that you have to go through. So it's not probably the best moment to. To do it now, okay. So we have the. Uh, you, you see that we have some general formula, yeah, that describes neutrino oscillations in a sense, or it just describes any process actually, yeah. So so now if uh, alpha equals beta, that will be just a process where neutrino uh, did nothing. No, so the flavor of the we can think about the flavor of the neutrino hasn't changed. Yeah, when alpha is different than beta, you can say that there is a neutrino oscillation. Yeah, it's in a sense that the uh, uh, in the uh, as you see in the standard model, yeah, with uh, uh, with 
with the vanishing neutrino masses, yeah, every process, the, every process would give you alpha equals to beta. Uh, so the flavor, so the flavor that you see at the source, and the and the, or the, I mean the charged lepton flavor that you see at the source, and the charged lepton flavor that you see at the, uh, the target uh, will, would, would be the same, yeah. On the other hand, uh, beyond the standard model, when you already in include neutrino masses, yeah, there can be oscillations, yeah, where alpha is different than beta. And then what we'll be interested in is how this uh, um, process is affected by higher dimensional EFT operators, yeah, how this... Uh, so, uh, first, maybe before, before I go to uh, this uh, um, uh, higher dimensional operators, let me first maybe connect to the, the usual picture. So, so this is an observable, this is a rate, yeah, so the rate is... Uh, this this is like the number of events per 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 time, yeah. So this is something that experimenters observe, yeah. So this contains everything, yeah. You don't have to do anything. And that, however, uh, neutrino physics is idios idiosyncratic, yeah. So they use uh, they don't use the observable rate uh, when they talk about it. Usually they talk about oscillation probability, yeah. So that's the um, uh, that's the okay? so how you can define from that oscillation probability? Yeah, you can derive it like that, yeah. So you can uh, you can define it like that, yes. Yeah? So this is the dr alpha beta over the uh, e nu, and then you integrate it over whatever you want. So so typically you're over all of the phase space, yeah, except for the uh, neutrino energy, and then you divide it by the flux and production cross section. Yeah. So the production flux, so that would be something like uh, uh, like 1 over 4 pi L squared d gamma uh, s to uh, x alpha nu over d nu. And this will be the, the, the production, the, 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 the cross-section, yeah, for the process. Uh, 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 nu. New beta uh, t goes to, to y beta. Yeah, so sorry. New, new t goes to y beta. So do, so you can divide it. Yeah, by the uh, by the uh, uh, so. Uh, this is the, the the integrated rate here. Yeah, with this exponential factor, and this is how you would calculate it. Yeah, as the flux at the production times the cross section at the detection. Yeah, so that would be that how the rate you would calculate naively if you. Uh, ignore the oscillations. And then what you get is this formula, yeah, so that uh, this, then, then this, this prefactors uh, cancel, you only get uh, sum over AKLL e to minus delta MKL squared L over 2 E nu, and then we have, there will be an integral, yeah, so don't forget it, M alpha K P M alpha L P star M alpha M beta K D P P and M beta L star D and I don't have space for for the the P P prime uh, the P P Uh, and uh, in the numerator, yeah, when I write this, this, uh, uh, this uh, uh, flux, yeah, that will be almost the same. So we have in dpp over d nu uh, m alpha k p squared, and then another integral dp d. Uh, m beta l uh, squared, and there is a sum here is sum over k, and there is a sum over l. Yeah, so here, yeah, you would, would, would calculate the flux, yeah, which is sum over all eigenstate, yeah, and of m squared, and here when we calculate the cross section, we sum over all eigenstate m l squared. Yeah, so that is how you can d define the oscillation probability so from this. Observable, yeah. So 
oscillation probability is not an observable, yeah? It's just a, like a more um, uh, artificial construct, yeah? But this is something that is used. So now how do I see that this, is, this, this gives me the usual oscillation probability, yeah? In the, uh, okay, so now if I start with the, uh, if I start with the interaction that is of this form, that is, uh, that is uh, flavor diagonal, yeah, so in the neutrino flavor. So well, let's just write it like that, yeah, so this would be alpha, and then this is half something, yeah, so let's see, whatever, like some, can, you can use whatever, whatever, like, right. so if, if uh, you start yeah, with, a, with a Lagrangian that is uh, diagonal in the flavor indices, yeah, so then you can write it as you can replace this by mu k mu alpha k. And then your uh, production or detection amplitude will always have, uh, so for, for the neutrino, yeah, will always have this form. U alpha k star a production and MD is equal to U alpha uh, L, okay, K without star A detection. So, like, if your starting point is like in the standard model is the flavor diagonal interactions, yeah, then uh, the amplitude always has this form, yeah? So this, you, uh, you, you have, you can uh, take this uh, forward this uh, PMNF matrix element. And this is something that doesn't depend uh, on K, but it depend, can depend on alpha. Yeah? So that's, uh, uh, yeah, it can be function yeah, of, of, of alpha, and, uh, but it cannot be the function of the, uh, of the neutrino eigenstate because the mass of the neutrino is too small yeah, to, 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 to give any, any, eff any effect in this amplitude, and this is uh, neglected. Yeah, so the only way that neutrino masses enter here yeah, is, will be just by this exponential factor. And the reason why they, here they can enter yeah, is because they are multiplied by L, yeah, so they can be amplified. So if you have this, yeah, then uh, you plug this into this formula and you're getting that um, P alpha beta is equal to uh, you will get this, yeah, the PP over the new um, AP squared. And then you will have uh, U alpha K star, U alpha L from these factors. And then you will have the, the, the uh, from the detection, yeah, you will have tau. Okay, let me start. Uh, Writing from the top again. P alpha beta is equal to uh, integral dpp d mu ap squared o alpha k star o alpha l uh, integral over the pd uh, ad squared u alpha k, u alpha, yeah, u beta k, u beta l star, and then uh, you have this exponential factor e to minus l delta m k l squared l over 2 e nu. And then you divide it, yeah, by sort of the same thing, integral the pp over the e nu, a p squared, and the only difference here is that this uh, there is a different pattern, yeah, of this uh, u alpha k uh, integral of the pd a d squared u beta l star u beta uh, l star u beta l. So here we have sum over k and sum over l, and then we sum on the top of KL. So you see that in the uh, denominator, this guys, this is the, this is the uh, 
in unitary PMNS matrix. So if you take the sum, it's delta alpha alpha, so it's one. So this sum is one, yeah? So, I mean, here we just we were changing the basis, yeah? So it, the same is that this sum is one. This is a unitary matrix. So on the other hand, yeah, this, uh, this integrals, yeah, over this amplitude squared, they factor out here and here and here and here. So uh, they, they cancel and you are left with this formula. Okay, let me just write it like. Uh, to new u alpha k cell, u alpha l, u beta k, u beta l star. So this is the formula for the oscillation probability I was uh, the definition. Yeah, so uh, I was using yeah that uh, here that the starting point yeah was uh, uh, was a particular was was particular yeah and then everything uh, nicely uh, I mean all this uh, kinematic factors cancelled out and you are only left with this combination yeah of, of P M N S and that's the classic formula for neutrino oscillations yeah if you want to see it a little bit more in details, yeah, you can write this as uh, one minus, what's okay, you can write it as a cosine, yeah, minus I sine, and then cosine, you can write as uh, one minus two sine squared, yeah, so cosine X minus sine X is two sine, uh, is one minus two sine X, yeah, so we can write it as sum over KL one minus two sine squared, delta m k l squared over two e nu and uh, uh, minus i sine delta m k l squared l l over two e nu and, and times this uh, u alpha squared u alpha l u beta k u beta l star so you see that you have a, this first factor here is one, and that again, if if it's one, then we can just make the sum here and get delta alpha, alpha beta delta alpha beta. You see that there is we sum over k, so we can uh, we use the unitarity of u, and so this will be uh, we can write it as delta alpha beta minus and then you have this two sine squared delta mkl squared l over two e nu plus i sine delta mkl squared over two e nu and then u alpha k u alpha l star u beta k u beta l star okay so that's uh, that's the uh, uh, that's the formula for oscillation probability uh, in, with a little bit uh, i forgot to uh, l here yeah, in this sign yeah so you have this uh, oh sorry sorry okay, so first i i was wrong here it's uh, cosine x is one minus two sine squared over half and then i should put four here okay sorry so i i, I replaced cosine with uh, cosine x with mi one minus two sine squared x over two yeah so that's the yeah so that you have like two factors yeah with a different oscillation uh, length yeah in this uh, uh, in, in this formula so you see that uh, at l equals to zero in the standard model there is no oscillations you only the the charged lepton flavor that is spit out in source is the same as the charged lepton flavor spit out at detection. But once L is not equals to zero, then you cannot use this unitarity anymore because you have this non-trivial delta MKL factor sandwiched between the between the PMNS matrix. Yeah. So there is it's no more there is no more unitarity formula that you can use. In and in principle it can be non-zero, yeah, and yeah, that's this is what happens in nature. Yeah. This is the this is the problem. 
Good. So uh, now uh, I want to understand. So that's uh, is there is there any questions up to this point? Yeah, but uh, but I think you will see it on at the derivation level, not at the level of the formula, because the formula already assumes that neutrinos are relativistic, for example, that the masses are different, yeah, that uh, this... Uh, but on the other hand, yeah, that uh, there is the the uncertainty. So, so, so you see that this, this oscillation yeah, comes from the fact that in this formula you can have the experience, yeah? Propagators with different masses. Yes, there has to be a, some uh, smearing, yeah, of the momenta, which is actually given by this by, by this wave packets, exactly by this wave packets, and because yeah, you want to localize uh, the source, yeah, to some 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 small uh, area, yeah, then you will have dif different uh, some, some some spread of momenta, and that allows you, yeah, to, uh, so yeah, so so, but you could do the same. Formula you can do the same thing, yeah, for uh, yeah, and then see what will be the conditions, yeah, for the quarks to oscillate, yeah, and uh, yeah, it's as I said, it's uh, it's just a standard QFT, yeah, but yeah, this involves several approximations, yeah, that are characteristic for neutrinos, yeah, yeah, in particular. Okay. Look. Okay, so I'll, I'll uh, can maybe. Uh, so this I will keep yeah, for for later, and I maybe restart here. So what I want to see, yeah, in the in this lecture, yeah, is how this uh, how this formula is modified yeah when you have uh, bsm interactions yeah described by higher dimensional operators so i will start with the, my starting point will be this eft and i will I, i'll do something very simple yeah so so this is uh, I'm, i will not be using like the full in this example yeah the full power yeah of this of this formula so uh, but uh, yeah i just want to uh, have an example, yeah, that is sort of man manageable on the uh, alpha gamma u bar sigma bar mu d and l alpha bar sigma bar mu mu gamma plus. So this is something that you've already seen. So this is an effective Lagrangian after integrating out uh, the W boson. Uh, if epsilon L equals to zero, this is the standard model. But so this is just a standard model like interaction, V minus eight type. So left-handed, 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 left-handed. And uh, if epsilon L is zero, yeah, that would be just the standard model like interaction that you get below the electric scale. And epsilon L uh, is uh, something yeah, that you get from uh, you can get from new physics, yeah. So this this will be describing our new physics. So note that I'm assuming so. Uh, standard model is flavor diagonal. So the flavor of lambda, oh, sorry, flavor of the of the charged lepton, and the flavor of the neutrino are. Uh, normally, I think I was doing this at e. Yeah, so that's probably better notation. Um, uh, so the, the charged lepton flavor and the neutrino flavor are equal, or at least you can find the basis, yeah, where this is uh, diagonal. And uh, here I'm allowing for the corrections to this, yeah, that uh, proportional to epsilon l, that this is not where this is not uh, flavor diagonal. And I will be interested to see how this piece will uh, modify my. Uh, uh, Oscillation formula uh, uh, compared to what you get in the standard model. So uh, this this is something yeah that can be obtained from new physics yeah for example in the SMEF you will have a dimension six operator it is sometimes this denoted by OQL no o, maybe OLQ three and this is L alpha 
sigma bar mu uh, L beta, oh sorry, so I forgot something, sigma k L beta, and here we have, uh, we can have a quark. So you can have, for example, this kind of dimension six uh, for fermion operator, and I, sorry, forgot again, Q sigma bar mu sigma k Q. So here we have a lepton doublet, here we have a quark doublet, so I'm using the uh, fully uh, uh, SU3 cross SU2 cross U1 invariant language. Uh, this are, so these are quark doublets, lepton doublets, and then uh, these are sigma matrices, so this is like a sort of a triplet uh, uh, contraction of, uh, of, of, of these of this two objects yeah, that, uh, that is, uh, satisfies uh, SU2. Uh, and then if you write it down in the components, so you write it in terms of, so Q is UD and L alpha is nu alpha E alpha. So if you write it like that, yeah, you will get uh, this sort of epsilon L that is uh, uh, connected to the Wilson coefficient yeah, of, of this operator. Yeah, so this is the, this is the operator. So you can get it, yeah. And then if you have this uh, this operator, yeah, you can imagine, yeah, what 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 where it comes from, yeah. So if you have a triplet uh, vector mesons that are coupled to both leptons and quarks, yeah, and you integrate it out, you're getting some sort of uh, you're getting a four fermion operator like that, yeah. So this is something that you can get from uh, dimension six uh, new physics. Um, good. So now, uh, so how do we proceed? So so so. Uh, first, we have to, to say, so we will be using these formulas, and we have to uh, say first what is the process yeah, that we are interested in. So let me uh, uh, like propose an experiment in neutrinos yeah, where, uh, where a neutrino is produced by pi on decay. Let's say it's uh, anti-neutrino. Is detected by mu bar uh, p by inverse uh, beta decay. So you see that my alpha is equal to mu in this case, and my beta is equal to e. So I'm looking for the mu to e oscillations. Yeah, in this in this setup. That's the uh, that's my, my, my uh, that's what I want to calculate, and I will need to calculate, yeah, this uh, to I will need to calculate this m mu k uh, production is equal to m to pi minus going to mu minus mu k, and I will have to calculate m e k detection is equal to m uh, mu k go. Uh, Proton is going to neutron E. Uh, yeah, sorry, sorry. This is mu bar. This is mu bar. This is E plus. Yeah. So yeah, fortunately, yeah, yeah I con the charge is conserved here, so I think it's correct. Good. So. This is the so, so I just need these two amplitudes and to I have to plug them in the in the formula and I, and I have uh, I have the rate yeah so there's no um, nothing here uh, complicated I just have to calculate this pi on decay pi on decay uh, amplitude based on uh, this Lagrangian uh, and then uh, this I will just uh, uh, what what I will do for for to, in this derivation for simplicity I will first assume that there is no uh, new physics in detection, yeah. So this will be just like the the standard model one, yeah. So nothing, nothing will be will be affected. Uh, the only the only way that new physics will enter is via this process, yeah. So the, again, this is just a temporary. Yeah, I will comment later. Yeah, what happens? Yeah, when I include new physics in detection. Yeah? So, uh, so the formula is completely general, and. So where are we? 
So how we uh, how do we calculate this uh, uh, amplitude? So the amplitude will be given by the following. So m mu k p is equal to. So I have this. So uh, just uh, yeah. So uh, uh, okay. Let me let me just calculate. So this will be minus two v u d over v squared, and delta alpha gamma. Okay, that alpha is mu gamma plus epsilon mu gamma l, and then I'll have some uh, for the, on the leptonic side. I will have some. Uh, wave functions that will be not important what they are. Yeah, so this is the the the, the, the speed or polarizations here, and then I have to calculate the matrix element yeah of this operator, so sigma mu d uh, between the uh, pion states. So okay, I was just wanted to roll so that it doesn't uh, clash with, uh, with with muons. Uh, so this is the, this is this is the amplitude. Um, this is something. So this is the matrix element, yeah, that you can uh, uh, that you need to calculate, and this is non-perturbative, yeah. But this is something that is very uh, has been very very widely studied, yeah. So um, you can uh, uh, write down it's yeah that it will be equal to. Um, Pi minus is equal to the where 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 are we at here uh, something like i over two pi pi on rho f pi. So f pi is just a non-perturbative brown max. This is the pi on decay constant, and this is something that is known from, for example, from lattice with a very very good precision. And here the the so so this has to be a four vector, yeah, and this is. Uh, uh, this is the only. Uh, uh, this is the only uh, four vector, yeah. Or for this is the only vector that we have, yeah, to 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 have the correct uh, Lorentz transformation on the on the right hand side. So there is nothing else that that can be. And then this is uh, sort of conventionally yeah, included in the definition of pi. Yeah, so. So. Um, so uh, we just plug this in. And then we're getting minus e. This e is completely irrelevant. Yeah, I just write it. It's like delta mu gamma plus epsilon l mu gamma. And then we have uh, x e bar sigma bar rho y nu pi rho pi. Yeah, and if you want to, I mean, again, this is not important. Yeah, for uh, our. Uh, yeah, okay. For our, our our case, yeah, but you can use equations of motion, yeah, and you can simplify it to uh, so the the equation so p the the momentum of pi is equal of the momentum of neutrino plus momentum of uh, electron, and momentum of neutrino acting on the on the on the neutrino is zero, but the momentum of the, the uh, of electron is on acting on this uh, uh, wave function is not is non zero, yeah, and then you will get something like minus e. V u d v squared delta mu gamma plus epsilon mu rho uh, something like y e y e yeah okay that's probably uh, okay okay so now uh, sorry so so one 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 more thing I I have to do yeah is that actually I calculated actually I didn't calculate this. Uh, Amplitude for the decay to a given uh, momentum eigenstate. So to uh, to to get to go to the eigenstate basis, yeah, I have to write that this is u gamma k nu k, and then I will get this also factor of uh, somewhere here. Yeah, let me just plug it here. U gamma k. Uh, and uh, u 
gamma, okay? And then u gamma, okay? So that I have the correct uh, indices. And then uh, let me just do this last trivial step that I just put this u mu k plus epsilon uh, mu gamma, mu gamma. Did I make a mistake here? Okay, mu gamma, mu gamma, and then epsilon mu k, where I defined epsilon mu k is equal to a e l mu gamma or u gamma k. Now, so just some sort of a notification. Okay, so this is the amplitude I have, and I have to plug it in into this uh, uh, this formula to get the ah, and I forgot this. I have to plug it in, into this formula, formula yeah, to the, to, uh, to get the uh, to see how this the, the rate is modified. And yeah, please. Yeah, probably. Sorry, sorry. Pi on decay constant. F pi, F pi, F pi. Yeah. Good. So I plug it in, yeah, and then what 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 I will get is the alpha alpha beta. So let me just uh, write uh, what I will get. I will get some r uh, r zero. I will just first look at this. Uh, u mu k plus e mu k, u mu l star plus e mu l star, and then I will from the on the detection side, yeah, we'll get u beta k star, u beta l. Okay, so this is this is what I will get, and now all this uh, the, this rate this prefactor, yeah. Doesn't depend on the um, on the neutrino indices. It will depend, yeah, on the on the on the muon and electron indices, yeah. Because so so what it is, yeah. So this is uh, this is this uh, integral over the phase space. So sorry, I'll, I'll be calculating like this. D nu, dpd. Uh, I will I'll be uh, and then you have, uh, for example, yeah, this 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 factor. V u d f pi over v squared uh, y e y nu squared on the on the detection side, and then you will have some amplitude on the sorry on the production side, and then you have an amplitude on the detection side. But I don't even write uh, uh, for, for the moment. I don't write uh, explicitly. Uh, and then it will contain yeah, this fact, this factors here yeah, that were all there. Yeah, thirty-two pi l squared uh, m s m target. So m s in this case is m pi on, and m target is m proton. Yeah. So uh, so what, what I'm, I, I will be not uh, ca caring about this d zero. Uh, uh, sorry uh, about this r zero later. I will be just focusing, yeah, what on this part, what kind of uh, pattern of oscillations we are getting, and uh, to get the pattern of oscillations, I have to put also this factor of this oscillatory factor here, uh, which is there in this this formula too, yeah, and when we we are we will be summing over. KL, yeah, all of this. So the point is, yeah, I, I can take the sum here through this R zero. So the only thing that you can, sh you should uh, remember, yeah, is that this R zero, this prefactor, is just calculable by the usual QFT calculations. Yeah, so you can just calculate amplitude for production and detection, integrate over the phase space, and then you're getting some uh, factor here. And so this is something that you can calculate. So the overall normalization of your rate yeah, is, is, is given. 
and uh, now we are focused on this uh, prefactor, yeah, to uh, oh, sorry, on this on this oscillatory factor, yeah. What is this? Yeah. So maybe it's a good moment to make a break now, yeah, and uh, let's do 15 minutes break, and I will continue uh, with this uh, after after the break. Yeah, and then. Okay. Okay, not much left. Good, so let's continue. So uh, uh, there was somebody pointed out to me that at one step in the derivation I lost the uh, muon mass, so that uh, when I was writing the formula for R0, yeah, there is also a muon mass there in, uh, that I forgot, but it, of course it doesn't matter, yeah? So, so it's, uh, this is just uh, what will matter for the rest of uh, is this part. And yeah, I'll, I'll try to unfold yeah, this, uh, this, this, this part, yeah, what, it, what, it, uh, what kind of uh, uh, physics it gives us. And uh, I will try to, so, so to make it a little bit more tractable, yeah, so I will assume that we are in the two, uh, two, uh, two, two neutrino oscillations regime, yeah, so that we are only, uh, effectively only two neutrinos are uh, taking part. So, okay, so I, I said the third neutrino doesn't exist, yeah, uh, or that the third neutrino doesn't take part in the oscillations, yeah, so, so that will be the assumption. So, so, so from now on, k is just one, two, yeah, and uh, there is only mu, yeah? and then this unitary PMNS matrix simplifies to this form, yeah, sinus theta, cosinus theta. So uh, there is, this is the, the unitary two by two matrix. There is, uh, you, you could write a phase there, yeah, but this phase for in the two to two case can be uh, eliminated, yeah, by by some by, by appropriate uh, uh, rephasing, yeah, of the of your fields in the Lagrangian, so it will cannot uh, uh, give you any anything. Okay, so in this limit, yeah, we will have so so uh, this is and this is the this is our formula for the rate. So this is the rate of the oscillations. You can call it oscillations of muon neutrinos into electron neutrinos, yeah, because. We tag uh, what what we ta we tag the flavor yeah by the flavor of the charged lepton so muon is at the origin and the electron yeah is uh, at the at the uh, at, at, at the uh, at the detection yeah so yeah I maybe mean, there was also one question so for example uh, actually. Uh, you know that pion also decays to electrons, yeah? So, so pion has a, another decay, decay mode, pion to electron neutrino. And uh, this is uh, suppressed, so by, compared to the muon decay mode by m e squared over m mu squared, so some factor of order 10 to minus four. Yeah, but so, but, uh, so you could also calculate this, uh, the analogous, the, the REE, yeah? So, so that, that's, but uh, let's, let's just uh, forget about this, uh, uh, this other process for a moment. Let's just focus. So, I'm assuming actually that you see yeah, what pion decayed to. Yes, normally in most of the experiments you will people, like, people produce the pions yeah, and they will decay and they will not really actually detect uh, to what uh, flavor the pion decayed to. Yeah, but you can imagine an experiment where you actually detect yeah, the, the the charged flavor from pion decay and then you sort of tag yeah, this uh, flavor at the, uh, at the at the at the source. Yeah, and you can. Uh, uh, do this this analysis. So uh, let's let's uh, break it down. Let's br break down this formula. Yeah? So uh, you can write it. Yeah, maybe uh, uh, let me just uh, write it uh, in the form that I will be using. Yeah, which is this trivial rewriting. Yeah, of uh, the previous thing. We have the sum over KL. Uh, equals one to two, and then we have one minus uh, uh, sine, two sine squared delta mkl squared l over two e nu minus i uh, sine of um, delta mkl l over two 
in your lab tool again the same error for and then the mu k plus epsilon mu k and the blackboard uh, you yeah that's a problem with neutrino physics huh? you need long distances uh, long baselines and, uh, and then you have u e k star u e l okay u mu l okay so so now uh, let's uh, focus so let's focus yeah on this first uh, uh, so we will uh, look at it order by order in epsilon yeah so epsilon is new physics so supposedly it's small so it makes sense yeah to uh, to rewrite it yeah in the uh, in this uh, order by order in epsilon. So in the first order in epsilon, that's the standard model. So let's first look what the standard model gives us. D nu is equal to R0. Uh, and then we'll have um, sum over KL. So, so uh, OK, so let's do it. Uh, let's do this one minus 2 sine squared delta M. KL squared over 4 e mu minus E sine delta M KL squared L L squared L uh, over 2 e mu uh, and then you have U mu K U mu L star U E K star U U E L. So first, uh, when uh, this first term in the, the standard model limit, as usual, will not contribute, yeah, because then you can uh, make the sum over K L here, and the sum over K L will give you delta mu E, which is zero. Yeah, so forget about this. So now. Uh, things a bit simplify is because uh, delta m k l squared is uh, is uh, zero, yeah. If uh, k equals to l, yeah. So we will not have this. This pieces are zero, so we only have to sum two pieces where k is, is not equal to l. So we have a uh, r zero. Uh, there will be a piece where so so k is equal to l. Oh, sorry, so k equals one, l equals two, uh, and then we will get. Uh, 2 sine squared uh, delta m squared l over 4 e nu plus i sine delta m uh, squared l over 2 e nu. And then we have here, we have uh, 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 u mu 1, u mu 2, u e 1, u e 2, and I forgot about stars, yeah, because uh, in, this, in this case, the, the u is, uh, so that's the first term, and then there will be a second term, but with the uh, minus sign, because in one case we have m delta m 1 2 squared, and the other uh, case we have delta uh, m 2 1 squared. I, I define delta m squared is m 2 squared minus m 1 squared, so, uh, in the other case, we'll have e mu two. Uh, sorry, sorry. So, so we'll have this. Uh, okay, maybe. Okay, okay. I cannot write it like that. Yes, I have to write it. Maybe. Um, I have to. I mean, it just access this right here, and then we we'll have uh, minus two sine squared delta m squared l for e mu uh, minus e sine delta m squared l over 2 e mu. And then the same thing. A little bit will be u mu 2, u mu 1, u e 2, u e 1. So this, you can see that this uh, factors, this, this uh, PMNS factors are the same, yeah? The only uh, uh, and this factor, depending on, so this, this corresponds to k equals 1, l equals 2, and this corresponds to k equals 2, l equals 1. So 
this P, M, and S factors are the same, and these two terms, they differ by sign, so they cancel, and this uh, have the same sign because, uh, because you have a sign squared here, so they add up, and at the end of the day, you're getting uh, uh, minus four R zero sine squared L over L zero, where L zero is defined as the oscillation length defined as delta M squared L over four in U. And from this factor, yeah, you get cosine, cosine, sine, minus sine, sine, because all of this, all of this uh, uh, PMNS factors occur here. So you have sine squared theta, cosine squared theta, and the, and the minus sine. So at the end of the day, you're getting sine squared to theta, sine squared L over L zero. Yeah, so of course, this is the usual uh, formula for oscillations. The oscillations will be, uh, are switched on, yeah, if the PMNS matrix has uh, non-zero mixing, and then they are proportional to the uh, L over oscillation length, well, os oscillation, sorry. Uh, what do they do? Uh, so, no, okay, I have to, I wrote it uh, wrongly, so this is um, the other way around. Yeah, for e nu over delta m squared. Yeah, and the oscillation length yeah is is given by uh, the energy of the neutrino yeah over delta m squared. Yeah, so oscillation length depend on the neutrino energy. So that's why we like in these formulas we usually don't integrate over energy. We want to observe this uh, dependence on, en on on neutrino energy. Okay, so that's the that's the, the trivial standard model part. So let's look. What happens uh, uh, in the leading order? So, so now, we, now, now we come to the clue yeah, of this calculation. So calculate the new physics corrections. Yes. So, so we will have um, the the following. So the, now we, there the R mu e one over d e nu. Yeah, is equal to R zero. Yeah. Again, we have one minus two sine squared theta delta m k l squared. Uh, L over four e nu minus e sine delta m k L L over two e nu, and then uh, we multiply it yeah by uh, so we will have the same factor for the u e k star yeah u e L uh, on the detection side, and on the we multiply it by what we have on the uh, so we have, for example, uh, mu k epsilon mu l star plus, when I hit this, mu l star epsilon mu k. So that's the, the uh, leading order BSM correction yeah, to the uh, oscillation uh, formula. So now, first look at this factor of one. So the factor of one uh, has um, the factor of one has this this sum again uh, over and okay okay so what are we talking about okay um, so Uh, let's uh, do it uh, again. The factor, yeah, the factor of one, yeah, you have, you, you sum over k, yeah? When you sum over k, you will be hit, you will be having this uh, sum over u e k, sum over uh, u mu k, and this is delta mu, this is zero. And if you, in this term, when you sum over l, you, 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 you have uh, sum over, you, you, you can call glue, this PM and S matrices. So it's again zero, so there is no one term. And again, like before, we can only consider K equals, uh, K is different from L. So we'll have R zero, and then the first term is um, minus two, two sine squared delta uh, L over L zero uh, plus I sine two L over L zero. And here we have uh, ue1, ue2, and then multiplied by uh, emu1, u 
mu2 plus e mu2 u mu1. Uh, and then there will be second factor minus tau sine squared L over L0 uh, minus I sine 2L over L0 and then this UE2 UE1 and epsilon mu2 U mu1 plus epsilon mu1 U mu2. I forgot to actually, that, that I wanted to trace this, so these are, uh, I forgot the, the stars, yeah, so, so stars are important in this, in this case. Okay, so that's the, uh, uh, that's, that's the expression. So now, you see that these U factors, yeah, these are uh, UE1, so UE1 is this, UE2 is this, and they are common, so we can, put it in front and they are cosine sine, so we'll have something like uh, R0 sine theta cosine theta, and then we have a terms with minus two, uh, plus two because I already took, borrowed the sine, sine squared theta L over zero, and then we sum these two pieces. But now if you see uh, these two pieces, yeah, this is the, uh, this is the Hermitian conjugates of this, yeah? So uh, there is, it's just has to look like that, like have to look across at that. And so this is the two times real part, yeah, of this combination, u mu uh, one, uh, u mu two plus epsilon mu two uh, star or not star, yeah, it doesn't matter, you mu uh, one and the uh, second piece yeah that will be the same but you have now you have a uh, this might will be you have this minus this so you will get the uh, imaginary part of this and so you'll get minus sine 2 l over l0 and then it's two times imaginary yes, of mu one mu mu plus e mu star u mu one. Okay, so you, you see what happens? What happens is a little bit more interesting. So if you com compare with the original formula, what we got? We got that one combination yeah, of epsilons, one combination of new physics, yeah, will give us correction to the usual oscillations. And, uh, so I can write it maybe here, yeah? So we'll have dr mu e1 over d e mu is equal to r0. Uh, sorry, I took here, there was r0 missing, but that doesn't matter. And then we have uh, uh, sine 2 theta times 2 real part of E mu one, U mu two plus E mu two star U mu one, and then you have uh, uh, okay. I, I can actually keep the sine to theta in front, and then I'll have uh, minus sine uh, two. Okay, and this this is multiplies yeah, sine squared L over L zero. And that's why I have minus uh, the imaginary part of the same thing and sine 2L over L0. So just to, to, to see how the, so the first correction looks exactly like the oscillations you have in the standard model limit. So it's a correction, yeah, to the oscillation strength. But so this is in, in particular some, some uh, observable effect. Yeah, if you know theta, if you know already theta, uh, you can predict. Yeah, what is the uh, what is what should be the uh, rate of oscillations? Yeah, with 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 this uh, frequency, and then you can um, uh, find uh, put constraints on, on epsilon. On the other hand, if you don't know theta, so so this is actually. 
uh, if you, for example, want to only me measure theta for the first time, if, you, if you're like doing uh, uh, the usual standard model experiment, yeah, and you want to uh, measure theta, this is actually what you, you will be fooled, yeah, because you will not measure theta. You, you think, yeah, you, you, you are a standard model experimentalist, yeah, you think you measure theta, but you really me measure a polluted theta. No? And this is an important thing, yeah, so this, uh, in, from the point of view, yeah, of uh, BSM, like all these measurements, yeah, of different, uh, um, different uh, mixing angles in the neutrino mass matrix, in principle, can be polluted by new physics, yeah, and this pollution is process dependent, yeah, so, uh, Every, in, depending on how you, how the neutrino is produced and how the neutrino is uh, uh, detected, yeah, this this, this uh, pollution can be uh, depend on the different combinations of the new physics Wilson coefficients. So uh, this is something that, in principle, should be un, 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 unfolded, yeah. And, uh, and and the way you can unfold it is that you you can compare the theta measured so measured with different uh, processes, and you can then constrain uh, this way. Uh, new physics. Uh, so this is a bit, this is similar to what happens, for example, in the uh, CKM uh, business, yeah? So you measure a Kabibo angle some in the strange decays, yeah? In the, for example, in Kion decays, and then you measure it in the, uh, uh, for example, in the neutron decay or, or some uh, nuclear beta decay, uh, and then you, in this case, yeah, uh, in one case, yeah, you measure, uh, yeah, you, you, yeah, you, you both in the standard model, you should be sensitive, yeah, to both, in both cases, to the same Kabibo angle, yeah? In one case, it enters as, as lambda, and the other uh, case, it enters as one minus square root of, uh, one minus lambda squared, uh, square root of one minus lambda squared. So, uh, in, in principle, yeah, it should be the same, but it should be the same Kabibo angle that shows up in both experiments. If, if a different Kabibo angle is measured in the different types of experiment, you cry new physics, yeah, because it means that, uh, uh, one of this or both of these measurements were polluted by new physics, and that's why you, you're getting something different yeah, from from the from this from the, from this thing. And the, the, the same thing, in principle, could uh, uh, show up yeah, in neutrino physics. Yeah, if you if you do this kind of analysis, nobody has done this kind of global analysis. Yes, yeah? so this is uh, uh, still to do. Yeah, but in, in particular, every measurement in the neutrino physics, yeah, you that you. Um, that you do, yeah, can be polluted, yeah, by 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 new physics. Every measurement of the of the mixing angles, yeah. So uh, the flip side is that when you do this kind of analysis, yeah, you cannot, uh, you have to be careful, yeah. You cannot uh, open a particle data group and say, okay, the theta one three was measured by Dia Bay, and uh, I know the value, and I put the value, and I constrain epsilon. No, because you're actually, uh, you you are. Um, this measurement by by by, by Dia Bay is actually measured. They will measure actually this combination, yeah. So so they were they didn't they think they, they think they measure theta, but they measure some combination of theta and epsilon. Yeah? So uh, you have to uh, be careful to unfold this kind of effects. Yeah, this this pollution, yeah, of the input parameters is a very 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 important thing. Yeah, if you do the uh, EFT analysis, yeah, of experimental data. On the other hand, this other guy is uh, simpler. It's much much simpler, yeah, because. Uh, it gives you oscillations, yeah, with a different uh, frequency. So, in, partic in, in, in principle, yeah, this can be uh, these two terms can be um, un, uh, yeah, disentangled by experimentalists, yeah, if they do the, the, the correct analysis, yeah, and then you can separately uh, constrain this uh, imaginary part, yeah, of this combination. Yeah, but the way this combination, yeah, I forgot to, to say, yeah, but this is some you can I, I expressed it, yeah, with this uh, parameter. Epsilon, which is already uh, epsilon uh, alpha gamma, I think is, I think, sorry, epsilon alpha k was epsilon alpha gamma u gamma k, yeah? So you, you, you still have to unfold it, yeah, to the, uh, to the to original parameters in the Lagrangian, yeah? And if you do that, yeah, in this case, yeah, it's, uh, it just gives you the value. It's not super interesting, yeah, but this is epsilon l mu e plus sine to theta epsilon l mu mu. Yeah, so it's like a combination, yeah, of uh, mu e and mu mu uh, uh, new physics effect here in this, in this, in this interaction, uh, in this four fermion interaction. Yeah. So um, this, is the, this is the combination of parameters yeah, that, you're, uh, that you're sensitive to. <coughs> so 
So you measure actually both the diagonal and the off-diagonal yeah, uh, piece yeah, in this. Um, uh, okay, so so this in principle should be should be uh, uh, can be disentangled by experiment. But notice that this is uh, proportional to imaginary part. So this is a CP violating effect. Yeah. So this is uh, uh, CP violating in the sense means that if you calculate uh, the R mu, the E mu, it will be uh, it will have an opposite sign. Yeah. So so, so this is a CP violating effect. So it means that you need the imaginary parts of this epsilon, which is always a bit dangerous. Yeah. Uh, I also wrote you maybe a dimension six operator from which uh, this epsilon can be obtained, but this dimension six operator is actually real, so it doesn't give you imaginary part. Yeah? So, so this uh, imaginary part is more difficult to, 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 to obtain, but if I added in the Lagra this Lagrangian a pseudo-scalar interaction, so here it would be UD, uh, uh, UD min I mean UD left or U, uh, U, gamma uh, U, U, U bar gamma 5D in the direct notation, and here you have a right-handed uh, electron and neutrino, so that's a pseudo-scalar interaction. Yeah, that is that that can be. Uh, there are uh, SMEFT operators that can have imaginary parts and contribute to it. So this kind of analysis. Uh, so you can st still obtain this uh, imaginary part yeah, from some reasonable uh, SMEFT models. Of course, then you have to check yeah whether this imaginary part that you need to. Uh, give a large enough effect in the oscillation experiment is not already excluded by some uh, uh, by some EDM uh, experiment, yeah, because uh, imaginary parts are very dangerous. Yeah, they contribute to to electric dipole moments, and you uh, they, they they are often very very constrained. Yeah, especially um, like the ones yeah that uh, uh, give you, for example, yeah, the, the, yeah, I mean. Yeah, all, all, all of them, yeah, they're, they're for, for all, all of these parameters, there exist uh, uh, usually stringent constru constructs. Okay, so how we are doing this time? Yeah, I, have, uh, I can probably go on for another uh, five minutes. Uh, so uh, let me just uh, press on, yeah, to the, to the next order. I, I only did uh, so far the, um, so this is, uh, okay, let's leave it there, yeah, and let's try to, fit in here for the second order in epsilon. I just want to show you one more thing. Uh, the, uh, if I write this, dr mu e2 over d e nu uh, is equal to uh, r0, uh, sum over KL, yeah, and then we'll have, okay, again, we'll have this uh, usual thing, one minus two sine squared delta MKL squared over two E nu, and there must be L also, plus minus E sine uh, four, yeah, sine delta MKL squared L over two E nu, And uh, now I have to I have to pick up epsilon mu k, epsilon mu l star, and uh, I already had u k star, u k star u e l. So now there will be some. So so you will get. You see that this quadratic term will give you quadratic correction to this. Uh, uh, this kind of oscillations, yeah, and the, and the other, the, the CP conserving oscillations and the CP violating oscillations, yeah. So that's uh, you will get uh, both. But uh, now you are you cannot use unitarity to get rid of this one in this expression. So you will this 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 will contain R zero sum over K L epsilon mu K U E K. Let me write them together in your L star U E L, and now uh, go back to the definition of what is uh, this uh, this epsilon mu k. Epsilon mu k is uh, R zero sum over K L um, epsilon uh, L mu gamma U gamma k U E k star and epsilon L mu gamma star bar, yeah, so bar is star, uh, 
u uh, gamma l without uh, with star yeah and u e l so you see that now you can use again the unitarity after this unfolding but the unitarity will give you delta e gamma here and delta e gamma here so you can rewrite it as r0 epsilon l mu e squared yeah so this formula will give you something that in the neutrino literature you see a, 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 called uh, uh, zero lens oscillations yeah but you see what the uh, zero lens oscillation is yeah so there is yeah so there is a probability yeah that uh, i mean you see bottom line is that there is a probability that you will see events uh, where where there is a muon emitted at the source and the electron emitted at the at the uh, at the at the at the detection but uh, but uh, you see that uh, you see that this is proportional to this uh, off diagonal um, element uh, this off diagonal interaction squared so what happens really yeah is that pion simply decays to a muon and the electron neutrino yes it's just the wrong decay to a wrong uh, neutrino yeah that is happens already at the source yeah so it's not really an oscillation effect yeah you you see that uh, this, this 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 is the just the usual decay to, 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 to already neutrino electron neutrino you can think of it as it was produced at the at the source yeah and so this uh, yeah so, so you have you have you have this effect yeah uh, without and, and then of course yeah you will also have so this is of course a quadratic effect in new physics so this is usually less important yeah than uh, uh, in, in for, for practical reasons but in, in in principle it's there yeah if you want to do an analysis at the quadratic level yeah you 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 you, you, you should take this into account and uh, you see that uh, the formula this so th this this formula is completely general yeah so it it knows about oscillations but it also knows about uh, what's happening uh, there just at the source and just at the the target yeah it's not uh, uh, everything everything is there it's a completely general formula valid for different uh, arbitrary production process arbitrary um, uh, detection process and and so on uh, let me uh, so maybe uh, let me also uh, comment yeah on the uh, the last final thing yeah is the comment yeah on what happens yeah when you have new physics uh, in detection also so uh, where, are, where are we? Zero lens oscillations. Okay, we are on the last uh, page here. Um, are there any questions to this calculation? Let me just uh, uh, mention yeah what happens at the when when you modify it yeah to include new physics and detection. So let me just uh, 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 modify it using the. Uh, the rag here so instead of the uh, u, u e k star you will also get so delta c e k star and u e l plus delta c e l yeah so this formula yeah, will be just modified yeah by uh, you will also get instead of this, uh, this this factors of PMNS yeah were here yeah at the, from the detection side and then they will be modified into something yeah that is no longer a unitary matrix that, that depends on new physics and this delta C depend on the uh, on the process yeah so let me show you just uh, uh, let me show you yeah on the slide so that we don't write this uh, long uh, formulas uh, here. Um, yeah, so for example, you can use the starting Lagrangian for the detection. It can be this uh, non-relativistic Lagrangian, yeah, for that we are discussing uh, uh, yesterday. So this is the, uh, that describes the interactions, yeah, of the nucleons, neutron protons, yeah, with the neutrino and electrons. The only thing is that I generalized it to include, uh, uh, before we were having uh, electron interacting with just one flavor of neutrino, and now I, because I do oscillations, yeah, I allow all flavor of neutrinos yeah to 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 interact yeah and then i cal calculate i yeah i calculate the amplitude and the detection yeah it will be something that depends on this wilson coefficient blah 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 it's uh, go 
I calculate this uh, integral over the phase space, and uh, what I end up with, yeah, is something, uh, uh, something like that, yeah. So, so I was, since we were discussing, this is already uh, expanded to the first order, yeah, in epsilon and in delta c, and the delta c will have this form, yeah. So this is the the form that uh, that we are getting. So, so there is. Uh, uh, one thing to see, yeah? so now uh, in this example with the pion, it was very simple. We basically had only one source, yeah, of, uh, of uh, so, so, so because pions are pseudoscalars, yeah, they only actually get contributions from uh, axial and, uh, and pseudoscalar interactions in this kind of effective Lagrangian. And then actually this axial and uh, pseudoscalar, they, they, they give you actually the same matrix element, yeah, uh, up to normalization, yeah, and uh, uh, so both, both contributions will look the same. Here, when, when you have these different kinds of interactions, okay, so uh, this, the similar situation is that vector and axial gives you, they enter with a different weight. Yeah, that will be the same for the pion decays if you use uh, uh, both uh, left-handed and pseudoscalar uh, uh, interactions yeah, in the EFT. Uh, and then, the, but the, the scalar and tensor, they not only enter with a different weight, but they also enter with a different dependence on the neutrino energy, yeah, so that's the, uh, so, so, so new physics, yeah, can not only modify uh, this uh, oscillation probability, but it can, it can modify the oscillation probability in an energy-dependent way, yeah. So, like you, you will get some. Uh, so, if you calculate now this this kind of uh, uh, leading order corrections, yeah, you will get a correction to the uh, oscillation by some factor that is energy neutrino energy dependent, yeah, and that's that, that, and then it's, uh, it's good because then it's observable by experimentalists, yeah, they can actually see that this, 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 this kind of thing uh, doesn't follow the sine squared L over L zero, yeah, but it's uh, uh, actually, uh, there is an additional energy dependence that is different than what you, you would just uh, have uh, uh, from this L zero factor. So, uh, so this kind of effects can exist, and uh, I have to say that if you have this, already this general formula, you, there is no, the way to capture it more generally with NSI, yeah? So NSI will, will not uh, uh, give you this formula. It will give you something that is, that is, that is different. Uh, on the other hand, if you expand to linear order in new physics, yeah, you can define effective NSI that will reproduce this formula, but then to, uh, uh, you see that this NSI in general, they would have to be also energy dependent, yeah, to uh, really capture what uh, real physics, which is EFT, does, does to neutrino oscillations. Yeah, so that's, uh, you have to, when you use NSI, you have to remember, yeah, that uh, NSI is describe only particular kinds of new physics, yeah, but if uh, some new physics gives you additional effects that uh, are not uh, uh, described by standard NSI, yeah, so you have to, have to be, be aware of that, yeah. So this, yeah, uh, this is, uh, uh, this is the, uh, um, uh, so the, including detection, yeah, is the same as including, uh, so new, including new physics and detection is the same as including new physics production and just calculate a different amplitude from a, usually from a different uh, EFT, yeah, because uh, this processes and the production and detection might not have anything to do uh, with each other. Um, for, yeah, maybe, well, one more comment, yeah, that's, uh, so in this example uh, of a pion decay, Actually, I wasn't telling you, but uh, pion decays two body, yeah. So the neutrino is uh, is uh, monochromatic, yeah. You get a neutrino at a single energy from, from the pion decay at rest, yeah. But uh, in principle, yeah, you yeah, there is you could use another uh, decay process, yeah, like for example uh, nuclear decays, and then you're getting some spectrum of neutrinos already uh, at the source, or Pion could be moving, yeah, and then you're getting some. Then, then uh, if if pion is moving, yeah, uh, then uh, you also that, that will also lead to a spectrum of uh, neutrino decay because um, you will have to take into account, yeah, that uh, the uh, neutrino emitted at different uh, uh, angles, yeah, will be will will, will give you different diff different energy yeah, at the at the at the source, yeah. But yeah, that, there, there there is a there are simple ways, yeah, to 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 to, to deal with it. Uh, and the last comment is that here yeah, we're considering like a charged uh, current production process and charged current de uh, detection process. Yeah, so the charge it means that you produce a lepton at uh, uh, in the production and a lepton the detection. But you can use the same formalism also for neutral current detection, which is sometimes which is often used also yeah in uh, neutrino physics experiment. Yeah, so in neutral uh, 
uh, in neutral uh, current detection, yeah, neutrino comes in, hits some nucleus usually, and then flies away. And, and the neutrino is otherwise undetected, its flavor is undetected, so uh, you have to just, the only, mo the main modification is that you will not have this index beta corresponding to the flavor tag at the detection, but you just have to uh, uh, remove this index beta and sum over all possible uh, mass eigenstate of the neutrino that flies away, and that's that, that's it. Yeah, so you can uh, you can uh, adopt this this framework yeah, to, to to a wide range of situations. Yeah, so this this, this was like a, one simple example. Yeah, but there is m many many more uh, physics physically relevant examples that uh, that can be used. So yeah, here. Okay, so that that's all for I guess now. And.